What's going on guys, it is your boy T Pro, the one and only today guys we are here in car dealership tycoon because I'm gonna be showing you guys the brand new Porsche that we just got for free in a CDT guys and if you don't know what I'm talking about we're talking about the brand new Porsche 718 right over here or the Porsche 817 this is part of the brand new car challenge that was just added to CDT right over here guys and all you have to do is basically drive a hundred and 120 miles in and then you guys had to complete both the com the ice races and that's it guys and after that you guys will get this amazing porsche but today we're gonna be checking this porsche out not because of track purposes guys or how beautiful it looks but we're gonna check out how well it drifts in a cdt guys but before we get started be sure to smash that thumbs up smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys have it and don't forget to click that post notification bell guys and if you guys want me to compare this porsche with any other cars and go against them in a race let me know what car that is and i will make a video of it now let's get this video started all right we are at the drift track right over here guys and you can see that we got the porsche and it is already fully upgraded we did upgrade it when we got it guys and you can see that we haven't gotten spike tires yet and this is what we're gonna need to drift and if you guys look at the stats it is a real world drive and that is perfect for what we have to do so let's go check out what our first attempt is on this one i'm gonna see if i can get at least 15,000 points and then we're gonna see if we can get something a little bit higher let's see if this porsche 718 can actually drift all right here we go boys and we are off here we go oh my goodness so far it's not doing bad at all we're already at a 1.3 multiplier and we got our first thousand points already now we're a little rough right here guys because this is our first race but you can see that it's actually sliding around pretty well it does seem like it needs a little bit more slippage right here because it's not really doing much you guys can see that it's trying to drift there we go maybe if we hit the e-brake a little bit it will go ahead and do that but it seems like the back tires is a little bit way too powerful for the front so let's see if we can try to keep hitting the e-brake and maybe we could do that here we go look at that oh my gosh he just wants to go in a full circle for some reason here we go yeah nice 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 here we go here we go oh see it keeps wanting to do a full circle i'm not sure if that's the power of it or maybe we just need to uh modify the porsche a little bit all right so far we got seven thousand points not so bad at all it's not doing well on these u-turns guys i'm not gonna lie to you it's not doing a perfect drift as much as i want it to be there we go that's probably one of the most perfect drifts we've gotten so far there we go nice 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 oh my goodness and you guys can see we already got 15,000, 12,000 points right there. We're aiming for 15. It seems like we're not going to get it just because we're a little bit out of time. But you know what? That's pretty close. We got at least 13,000 points right there for our first run. And I got to say that if we upgrade this a little bit more, maybe we can get it. So let's see what we need to change here. All right, first, guys, let's go ahead and lower it. It's a little bit too high. So let's go ahead and lower the springs right there and then we want to add a spoiler i think it'll look a little bit better if we have a spoiler with it uh you know what maybe nothing too crazy Ooh, what about this one yeah that's a little bit too crazy but if we go ahead and add maybe something like this it would look a little bit better or maybe something like this nothing too much maybe even a simple one like this one let's go ahead and get that one and then the alignment you know what we're gonna go ahead and hit the cambers a little bit uh, let's go with a negative 10. Let's go with a negative 10 on the, the back. And let's go with negative 10 on the front as well. And just like that, we got it. So let's see. We're going to leave the offset right here. I'm not going to touch those. But let's see if changing this actually helps. There we go. It respawned the car for us. Let's go. I want to change the color up a little bit too. So let's go ahead and get that started. And let's go ahead and change it to a red. Yeah, look at that. Looks a little bit more feisty. And then with the black rims, there we go. And then red calipers. And then with the interior, man, we gotta do something unique. Let's do white with the brown. Yeah, look at that. Fancy colors inside, baby. Here we go. We got this cool looking Porsche now. And let's go ahead and turn on our lights. Let's see if this works. I really hope it does. If not, ooh, there we go. It's doing a little bit better now since we changed the front camera. I think that's all we needed to do. And we already got 1,700 points. Ooh, 1,900. The only issue with this car is probably the acceleration part. It does not want to accelerate as fast as you want it to be to hit a drift. But it still does pretty well to actually hold the drift if you guys get enough speed. But if you guys are going too slow with this, 
it's not gonna go ahead and perform a drift you guys need to go at least like 80 miles an hour to get a good u drift right over here and just like that we barely made it all right our time is coming up right here guys we still got 9,000 points it seems like we didn't do as good as the last round even though it seems like it's doing a little bit better we still did boo boo all right we gotta do this again guys but this time we really gotta get 20,000 points maybe if we move the offset a little bit there we go let's do that negative 50 in the back and negative 50 in the front so we should be good right there it should be pretty balanced out i think we did the wrong car <laughs> let's go ahead and go to the right one here we go we got the alignment right here uh let's do negative 50 just like we did the other car and like that there we go now it should perform a little bit better if it doesn't well this car is not a drift car all right boys here we go we are drifting now oh my gosh it does seem like it's a little bit more control when we're doing the drifts but the power guys is just so low look at this yeah there we go maybe if we hit the wheels on the right time it won't oversteer it seems like it's doing that every single time i mean there's no issue with that but then we start hitting the barriers and then that's when we start losing all the points look at that so we can't even stick to the drift track long enough and i want to because i want to seem like a professional drifter and not a professional wall hitter all right here we go let's go ahead and finish this up now i do have to say it is pretty fun doing this in first person mode guys you can see that you can see perfectly with this car outside but it's just not drifting right guys i'm not sure if we need to go to the ice race and probably try it there but it, the regular track it seems like it's just not performing well all right here we go Thirteen thousand points that's better than we got last time but it's actually more than the first one but it doesn't seem like it wants to do more so let's go to the ice race and let's see if it does a little bit better there all right guys this is the last hope for this porsche 718 and if we can't get 15,000 on this i'm sure we can because we can literally just like slide around anywhere and it seems a little bit better on this one because it is a little bit slipperier so 15,000 points should not be a question but when it comes to holding a good drift guys it doesn't seem like it wants to do that at all and if we even try to hit the e-brake a bunch of times it seems like it's not going to keep the drift it seems like it just wants to stop the car so the 718 maybe seems like it's just going to be a simple sports track car and maybe just a you know daily take out car not a drift practice vehicle guys this is not for drifting purposes at all and i've tried a lot of cars before and they do it way better than this oh yeah no i definitely cannot even get any type of traction on this track i'm like literally just sliding around like a driver without toes guys what is going on around here we could probably get 15k points but probably not the most coolest way we're just literally sliding around like we have nothing but rims underneath our car all right here we go last drift and boom twelve thousand points guys well we tried it seems like the 718 is not fit for drifting even if we changed it up guys if you guys have videos of you drifting this and performing more than 20,000 points let me know in the comments down below guys i would love to see that but either than that this car still looks pretty cool in my opinion and if you guys want to try it on the track go ahead and do so but thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video and peace out